Okay guys, so it is another week. I have went to the grocery again. I went to Sam's and then I went to Aldi. So of course y'all know I went into Sam's for toilet paper and paper towels. There was neither. So that was sad, but I did find some things that I had been looking for. So that worked as well. Um, and then some stuff that we needed. So in total, I spent $100.81. The only thing you don't see is a four pack of Capri Suns, um, which was $6.98. And um, that was for my um, grandma. She wanted it to have over there with Winston. Um, and so I got that for her. So that's over there. But y'all know Luke has to have his L8. Let's see, I'll just tell y'all the prices of everything. So the L8 was 11.98. So you get four six packs. Got some paper plates. Y'all know I'm packing everything up. So I just went ahead and got this big pack. So, you know, we have it for later as well. But this big pack of plates was 15.28. So now normally I honestly, we normally would not spend that on paper plates, but right now I'm trying to pack and get everything done. We've got two weeks, so this is just what needed to happen. <laughs> um, I got a big bag of flour, y'all. I bought 25 pounds of all-purpose flour. Can you believe that? So it was a really good deal. Um, 25 pounds of flour was 648. How could I not pass that up? Like they had a smaller bag of like a name brand. I think it was like 10 pounds and it was like four bucks. So I mean, <laughs> it was like four, you know, 90 something. So this was a way better deal to get this big old bag. So I'm gonna fill my container up and then I will probably divide it out into um, individual like freezer bags, double bag it um, and then put it in the freezer, you know, to make sure it stays dry. And that th that's one way that you can really keep it nice and fresh. Just make sure that you double bag it so you don't have to worry about it, you know, getting wet or anything. Because once it gets wet, it's over. So, but we got that. Finally found some cheese slices. Y'all know we have been buying these. Really enjoy these. Um, and so this 120 slice block was $9.80, $9.98. So we picked those up. We eat cheese slices like crazy. And so this is cheaper than the one we normally get. Um, like we had, you know, y'all, if y'all follow me for a while, y'all know that like Fields is our all time favorite. Um, but Fields at Kroger is like $13.99 for only 72 slices. So we get, we got 120 slices for like 10 bucks. So it's a way better deal. Got some unsalted butter. There is four, yeah, four pounds of butter and that was, let me see, here we go. Um, it was 9.42 and I divided it up and I think it was like, like 10 or 20 cents cheaper than what I could buy it at Kroger. So I just went ahead and got it and then I'll just pop them in the freezer. You can freeze butter, just so you know. If you didn't know, you can. Um, we have been having a hard time finding chicken breast at Kroger. So I just went ahead, they had these. So I went ahead and picked up this big 10 pound bag. Um, and the chicken breasts y'all are huge. Like they're really good size. I normally don't like buying the frozen ones, but like this is one chicken breast right here. Like they are freaking huge. So that was $16.98 for 10 pounds. Then we got some of our favorite laundry detergent. I absolutely love this. It is compared to Gain. Um, we can't use Tide because Luke is allergic, so we always get the Gain. But so for the laundry detergent, that was $13.98. So, and it is 127 loads or 196 fluid ounces. So good, good deal. I got these two big giant things. It is 96 fluid ounces a piece. Um, so much juice, um, but Winston will definitely drink it. There we go. It was 348. Like, you can't even beat that. Like, you just can't. 
I mean, it's uh, um, no sugar added, like no, there's no added um, you know, sweeteners. It's 100% apple juice, really good. And for three, you know, for 350, you cannot beat that because they're like two something a piece or a little more if you go to Kroger. Um, and so, and they're smaller containers. So that was an amazing deal. And then picked up some water. There is 40, five bottles in there and that was three three thirty six so also another good deal so I grabbed I picked those up because I have been really wanting some bottled water to have in the fridge so that is everything that I got from Sam's let me try to find room for all this in the freezer and then I will show you what I got from Aldi okay dokie so at Aldi I didn't really need that much. Um, we just needed like, you know, some staple items, stuff that we eat through the week. And then I picked up a couple um, extra things. So I spent $49.77. And y'all, this really does not look like a lot. <laughs> but I had to get toilet paper and stuff. And so this was like six something and five something. So, but I needed it. So, you know, I was happy to find it at the store and get it since I didn't have it at Sam's. And I didn't want to go to another store. So, a um, 12 jumbo pack of um, toilet paper. It says it compares to Angel Soft, so we will see. Um, and then I got um, a six super roll um, of paper towels. I'm really not picky on paper towels. Um, we normally buy like the Kroger brand or Walmart brand, um, you know, whatever. So, I got those. I got a big but and it's not a big bag but um i got a thing of potatoes but what i was saying was these potatoes are big so they're good sized potatoes so i probably might actually do like a baked potato this week um since those are good sized potatoes so we got um some freezer gallon bags some freezer quart bags i got some um slow cook liners there's four liners in here for let me see how much it was Cause I didn't think it was a bad price, um, $1.50. So for four, I don't know, y'all let me know um, how many, how much they normally are. I normally buy them like at the salvage store or whatever. Cause I hate paying, you know, full price for something you're just gonna throw away. But they are awesome to have. If you don't use them, that's fine. Don't say nothing in the comments. I don't wanna hear about it. Um, if you don't like them, think they're horrible, you can unsubscribe, whatever. But I use them. So, um, there's four in there. Got some minced garlic. This is actually a bigger, um, um, the one I had been getting is six ounces and it was at Kroger and this one was eight ounces and it was a little um, cheaper. So that was good. Got some tomato paste, some more Parmesan cheese. Y'all, we go through this stuff like crazy. Also got some honey. Um, since I now have a giant bag of flour, I can make some more of my um, bread and rolls. So I picked up the honey because I put honey in my bread. And the dough, picked up some bacon pieces. Okay, I got two packages of dry ranch, two packages of dry Italian, and then I got two packages of fajita seasoning. I got a bag of um, pepperonis, got a bag of cubed cheese, got a full gallon of milk. Winston has been drinking the milk, so I went ahead and just got a full gallon, um, because I know he's going to go through it. Um, and then I got some eggs, got a bag of the restaurant style tortilla chips. I love getting these because they're 89 cents. Normally all of their tortilla chips, if it's that brand, um, they're 89 cents. <clears throat> We've had these before. These are really good. The cinnamon apple straws. So I picked those up for Winston. Got two things of broccoli florets. <clears throat> I haven't been able to find the broccoli florets at Kroger. So I, when I've seen those, I grabbed two. And then the last thing is this Jello Play um, Dirt Dessert Kit. So it's got everything in it. And I thought Winston would enjoy this. And since his birthday is Wednesday, um, I thought it would be fun, you know, just something fun for him to do. So it's got everything in it. So he'll get to go digging for gummy worms. <laughs> but 
but I thought it was cute. So that is everything from Aldi. Um, like I said, I spent $49.77. So I was happy with my Sam's haul, what I got, um, except for, you know, not being able to find the toilet paper, paper towels, but I looked up at Aldi and was able to find some. So, you know, I can't be too mad. But when I keep, I'm gonna keep going back to Sam's and if I see it, um, I'm definitely gonna pick it up because I love um, their um, brand of toilet paper and paper towels. It is so good. So this is everything. Um, I have no clue what we're gonna eat this week. I actually went to, I'm actually going to the store early um, just cause we were out of milk and stuff like that. So um, over the next couple days, I will try to like write down some ideas and then I will let y'all know. Okay, y'all, so I ended up going to Kroger, um, and I didn't go to the normal Kroger that we have over here. I actually had the time to drive over to the other side of town where we will be living, um, and y'all, that Kroger was awesome. So huge. It has so much stuff. It's got, like, patio furniture, and it has like a little dollar section, like dollar, like um, Target spot, you know, the dollar. I was like, what? <laughs> it was huge. So I'm so excited to have such a big Kroger over there on our side of town when we move. So here's some things I got. Um, I did go in looking for um, like the three pound log of hamburger meat. They were out. Um, but everything else, they were pretty good, good and stocked. Bread, pasta, rice, and all that. It was really well stocked they just ran out of um, hamburger meat so that's fine but here's some stuff I got um, so we do have um, a guest coming Saturday and staying the night for a couple days if you have been around for a while then you know little Miss Mally she's not really little anymore she's like <laughs> she's growing up but she's coming so I wanted to get some extra things um, for us to enjoy and everything so I got some wine punch. This is the lemon berry squeezed. Y'all, this is my favorite. <laughs> so I got that. Um, I also got this mountain berry juice. That just sounded so good. And then I got one of our favorite little bitty watermelons. We love these things. Got um, a pack of bacon. They were out of like the Kroger, all the Kroger brand bacon. So I just um, went ahead and got the Smithsfield. Was a little pricier. Normally I wouldn't have done that, but Luke um, is making, y'all know, <laughs> our famous smash burgers um, for Saturday. So um, he wanted some bacon. So I just had to make sure to get some bacon. We got a red onion. I got um, this, this, and these two are for um, part of Winston's birthday. And so I got him two squishies. He like, he's been really liking these things. So I got him a pizza slice and then they had um, like a popcorn. So I thought that was cute. So I got those for him and I'm gonna put that in with, you know, his birthday stuff. And then I also got these. I'm gonna do like a, a sweet treat um, bag full of food and all, all that. So um, I picked up these pecan sweet rolls these are so good and he loves these so and he hasn't had them in a long time so it will be a good treat so that's going to go into his birthday as well these are our favorite buns to do the smash burgers with um so i got those they're i don't know they're just they're perfect for um the smash burgers and then taylor talks about these taylor elmore talks about these all the time um, and talks about how much, how good they are and everything. And y'all, they had a bag. <laughs> it's a little bag, um, five ounces, but I still wanted to try it. So I was super excited. So I can't wait to try those. I got these, um, they were out of like the regular, you know, you make your own pizza crust. So I've just picked these three pizza crust up, um, and I have everything else here. So maybe one day for lunch while she's here, we can make our own little pizzas also picked up some tortilla shells. Winston asked for chocolate cake with chocolate icing. So I picked up a devil foods cake. And with that, I'm actually gonna do um, the Dr. Pepper. Um, you can either use a can of Dr. Pepper or a can of Coke. 
they both to me they both taste amazing um but i'm gonna do that with um the icing i've showed that um on my channel and y'all it is so so good and he loves it so that's what i'm gonna do with that i got two boxes of just the regular the cheap um kroger white cheddar mac and cheese but y'all these are still good and especially if you add the two slices of cheese like i always do it makes them even better so i got that just for a cheap you know, if they get hungry or whatever for lunch, then I can just pop that in. And then I got two of our favorite ones to have for dinner. Luke needed some deodorant, so I picked up the deodorant. And he also needed some um, shampoo. This isn't the one that he likes, but there was only like three options. So, um, I got him that. And then got some Angus beef. These are my all-time favorite. Now, what I'm about to say, I'm probably going to get um, some thumbs down, but everybody has their own opinion. I do not like ballpark hot dogs. I know. Go ahead. Do it. Smack me. Whatever you want to do. But I don't. I don't like ballpark hot dogs. They, the texture is weird to me, um, and they're like oily. So, um, these are my all-time favorite. Absolutely love these. The, uh, these are on the pricier side, but for me, I think it's work, worth it because these are so stinking good. So, Angus Beef, if you haven't tried them, give them a try. And then these were a couple of things that I found in the dollar spot. I picked up some cute nails. Just look how, like, cute summery those look. Like, I don't know. They're just so stinking cute. And then I picked up some of these glittery and pink ones. So, it's it's got, like, two thumb you know, two, it's got like two of each. So I thought that that would be fine. Um, plus it gives you two extra to do a, you know, a size. Um, so I thought those would work for me. Um, and they were like $4.99 a piece. So, and then I got one of these for Mally and one of these for Winston, um, just to do something fun. So it's like a lava jar. So it comes with everything. And then there's two different kinds of the glitter in there. Um, so I have no clue what we'll be doing with it, but it looks like you just make it and put it in there and it's supposed to look like lava, you know? So like I said, they were in the cheap section, but I thought they would be cool. Something to do while they're here. So that is everything except for, of course, the roll of hamburger meat uh, for smash burgers. And then Mally requested steak sandwiches. So Luke will go to the butcher, um, our local but butcher, um, the steak that we have been getting from there is so amazing. Um, and so, I think it's well worth the price. Yes, it is on the pricier side, of course. You're going to a local butcher. Um, but, y'all, the meat, like, melts in your mouth. It is so amazing. So, he'll go up there and pick some of that up for um, that night. And then we're going to do hot dogs one night. Uh, what else did I, what did I get yesterday? Uh... probably do we've got chicken patties in there um probably do like mcchickens and fries or something one night um and then i've got hamburger meat we always do some sort of taco or like mexican themed meal one night so i have stuff to either do tacos um quesadillas or um like enchiladas we've got like different you know stuff to do all three of those whichever one we want uh and we'll just say that's good <laughs> <laughs> that's quite a few meals so smash burgers hot dogs um like i said maybe the chicken patties and then some sort of taco dish so we'll figure it out of course y'all will see what we have um next week's dean dinner video but this is it guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up please comment down below subscribe if you're new and i'll see y'all later bye guys